Hey, Scorpio, you know the other sign for you is the phoenix, right? Well, you are phoenix all the way this month. It's a very intense time and there is a lot of wonder and magic, but also a lot of facing things and huge intensity. And basically, I'll just start off with what everyone's talking about, which is the total solar eclipse in Aries with a new super moon. And for you, you're being asked to really, well, not being asked, actually, you're being shown although you might not have all the answers till the end of the month, but the fundamental impact of this eclipse is for how well you're looking after yourself. Also, what habits and routines in your life are hindering you in any way? You're being given a wake-up call to take care of you, to really weave and transform the tiny details in your life to be able to make massive changes. You may see, eventually after this eclipse, that there are very, very tiny habit changes or patterns that you can change that will absolutely liberate you and transform your life to the maximum level. So anyway, before we get on to that, let's start at the beginning. Mercury is retrograde. Avoid being self-critical and also criticising other people. It's almost like our mind may try and escape doing the changes we need to make because Mercury is confusing us. So do use it in a positive way. Look to the past and go... Oh, in the past, when was I happy and what patterns did I have then? When was when was the time in my life where I felt really healthy, where I felt I was really looking after myself in all of the ways? And see if you can implement some of those patterns and bring them back into your life and look at what you need to leave behind, basically. With the Sun and the North Node conjunct in Aries, you, you could see a vision of yourself in the future. If, if you did make changes, you're confident that you can make changes. It's an opportunity, it's an upliftment. Also, Venus, the planet of love and abundance is going into that area. So you're very focused on change, looking after yourself, and fundamentally, honestly, now is the time to break those patterns that have been bothering you, and we all have them. Um, Chiron and the Sun are also involved on the same day as, as the eclipse. So we have the confidence and we're healing ourselves on a very, very deep level. You know, all we've been through in our life has made us who we are, but there are some wounds that are so deep that we can block them out. The sun and this eclipse is helping us heal them. And with Mars joining forces with Saturn, you have got this sort of optimism and, and real strength to commit to the future that you want, to commit to anything you feel strongly about, Anything that you desire, you have this inner strength to do it. There are other great things happening this month, like Venus, the planet of love and abundance, and the North Node adjoining forces, again, reinforcing this positive change that's coming your way. And um, Mars is sextile Jupiter, and Mars is sextile Uranus. There should be some unexpected pleasure, joy, potentially romance or intimacy coming your way that you find super exciting. After really the 19th it's the best time of year for you going forward towards the end of the month in terms of your happiness creativity adventure adventurous love connections uh, and romance all there for you and you're just feeling more at peace and more at harmony within yourself and of course we have the full moon in scorpio on the 23rd how exciting is that the full moon in your sign it gives you a peak experience now, I will, if, like, if the full moon is in Aries, for instance, because I'm in Aries, I will always try and plan the week before and pay attention to the energies around me because I know that the energy is going to go wild with that full moon. So, you know, make sure you pay attention before that. And, and in a way, we can try and sort of lead that full moon energy into the direction that we want. What peak experience do you want? Really allow yourself to feel the lead up to that full moon. And Mercury goes direct, direct on the 25th happy days and then venus enters taurus which is your relationship zone and mars and neptune are conjunct in pisces in your pleasure zone i think you're going to end the end of this month feeling happy and positive and optimistic and filled with creative possibility take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon
So here is the deck. I love the box. Got some of the tarot heroes on the front that are in my deck, which I'll tell you about later. It is flip top. How fabulous is that? I love that. And then you have the little booklet here. Little nuggets of information about each card. Here they are. Notice the gold. The fool. The magician. The High Priestess, which is so important because it is Pamela Coleman Smith. She was the illustrator of the original Ride Away. And I have three lovers cards. The Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, various heroes here. This is Anime Wong. So I've got this leaflet that comes with a pack. It gives you one line of straight to the point wisdom about it. But this is the book. And I'm so pleased with it because what I aim to do with this deck is to inspire your own psychic ability, but also to empower you and uplift you every day with the message of the card. Let's take a look inside. In it, we've got the meanings and readings. All my knowledge is in this book, all my love and all my heart. I talk to you about my journey and I talk to you most importantly about how to dive in and learn the tarot really quickly because that's the way I roll. Very easy guide. I talk to you about reversals and how to empower yourself and feel the love of the tarot. And then there's a little space where you can do your readings. And at the back, really importantly, I talked to you about all the card characters, the amazing things they did in the world to inspire us. Just to give you a taster, let's pull a card to see what we've got. Oh, that is a great card. The Nine of Cups, the Wish card. The most basic interpretation of the Nine of Cups is that you're being given a massive cosmic yes. This book is my life's work. I've been doing tarot basically from when I was born. It's been a lifelong passion and you can, you're always learning when it comes to tarot. And I've tried to put everything I know and and all the magic and how you can learn quickly. You can get them from Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and potentially order them from your local bookshop and support your local bookshop. These carry my heart and my soul, and I thank you for being on this journey. You inspired me to do it, because I wanted to have a inclusive deck. So I thank you for being my inspiration.